In this demonstration, we're going to look at address lists within Exchange Server 2016. As their name suggests, they list objects for us. So what we have, for example, we've got all contacts will give us a list of contacts, distribution lists will give us a list of distribution lists, and so on. So what we can see here is we can see which ones are up to date, which ones aren't up to date. If we want to make them up to date, what we do, highlight the address list, click update. We can also create our own address lists as well. So in order to do that, we've come to Exchange Admin Center, come to Organization, Address Lists, click plus. Then what we need to do is we need to give it a name. So I'm going to call this one All Departments. And I'm going to use this as a root address list. I'm going to put that under root itself. I'm going to go for only the following recipient types and I'm going to go for users with exchange mailboxes and select save. It's telling me here I have made some changes. I will have to update. So we'll select OK. And what we're going to do is we're going to create another address list to live within all departments. So again, we'll select plus. Then what we're going to do is we're going to create this one for the research department. And what we're going to do here is we're going to put this below all departments. We're going to go for, again, only the following recipient types, users with exchange mailboxes. And what we're going to do at this point here now is we're going to specify a rule. Then what we're going to do is we're going to create the rule. So we're going to click on the little drop down and we're going to base this on department. So in the case of department, what we now need to do is specify the department and we want research. So we'll select our plus button and then what we'll do is we'll select OK. Then what we can do at this point here is we can then have a look. Yep, definitely research. So it's definitely in there. And what we'll do is we will preview recipients in this address list. And what that should report back is that should report back everybody in the research department. And that reports back Alex Darrow. So we'll select close at this point here. Select our save button. It's telling us again we need to update all of this. So we'll select OK. Then what we'll do, select update. So yes, we do want to update this list. Hopefully it shouldn't take too long. There's only one user actually in that address list. And what we'll also do as well is we'll just make sure we've updated the all departments. And again, it shouldn't take too long. So we'll select our close button. And now we've created our address list. Let's just see if they work. So what we'll do is we'll go to our client machine. We're going to create a new email. So all I've done here is I've logged in as Alex, got in my inbox, click my to button. On my to button, what we have here is we have our research address list and the only user in there is Alex Darrow. That's the end of this demonstration. Thanks very much.